In the heart of the Great Smoky Mountains National Park, a haunting mystery lingers, which was the disappearance of Dennis Lloyd Martin. Born June 20, 1962, an American child who disappeared on June 14, 1969, a seemingly ordinary day turned into a nightmare for the Martin family as they embarked on a camping trip, only to have their six-year-old son vanish without a trace. Despite extensive search efforts and investigations, the circumstances surrounding Dennis Martin's disappearance involve approximately 1,400 searchers and a 56-square-mile area remain shrouded in ambiguity, leaving a perplexing void in the history of missing persons cases. Please take a moment to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more fascinating stories like these. Dennis Martin was a young, lively boy full of curiosity and joy. He loved the outdoors, and the prospect of camping in the Smoky Mountains with his family excited him greatly. The Martins, joined by another family, chose a remote spot near Spence Field for their camping adventure. It was a beautiful Saturday afternoon, and the air was filled with laughter as the kids played games while the adults planned a mischievous surprise. The dads, in good spirits, concocted a harmless prank to startle the children. With eager anticipation, they hid behind trees and bushes, ready to jump out and give the kids a good fright. They did not know their playful scheme would take a distressing turn. On June 14, 1969, at about 4.30 in the afternoon, Dennis disappeared. He was playing a game with his brother and some other kids from a different family they were camping with. They planned to surprise the grown-ups by hiding. Dennis' dad saw him go behind a bush to hide, but when all the other kids came back, Dennis didn't. His dad got worried after about five minutes and started looking for him. He ran along the trail for almost two miles, but Dennis was nowhere to be found. After a few hours of searching without any luck, they asked the National Park Service rangers for help. That's when the big search to find Dennis began. The forest echoed with shouts of his name the panic growing with each passing second. The playful prank had gone awry, and Dennis was nowhere to be seen. Frantically, the group searched every nook and cranny, hoping to find the young boy giggling behind a tree or hiding in the bushes. But as minutes turned to hours, fear settled in. Dennis was truly gone. The once cheerful atmosphere now felt heavy with worry and concern. Tears flowed and the forest that was once a playground became a maze of uncertainty. The dads who had planned a harmless jest now led a desperate search. After Dennis disappeared, everyone who loved him joined in the hunt. Park rangers, kind volunteers, and later, the police all came together to search for him. They scored every corner of the woods, hoping to find even the tiniest hint of where Dennis might be. But despite all their hard work, Dennis stayed hidden. The search wasn't easy. The land was rough, covered in thick forests that made it hard to see far. The weather didn't help either. Sometimes it rained heavily, making it harder to look around. The woods were quiet, almost eerily silent, as if keeping a secret. No one could find any clues about where Dennis might have gone. They tried everything they could think of. Helicopters flew over the trees, searching from above. Clever dogs trained to sniff out people's scents ran through the bushes, hoping to catch a whiff of Dennis. Hundreds of people, full of care and concern, worked tirelessly, looking behind every tree and under every rock. But Dennis seemed to have vanished without a trace. People began to wonder what might have happened. Was Dennis lost and wandering somewhere in the woods? Or had he gotten hurt and couldn't call out for help? Some even thought about scarier things. What if someone had taken Dennis away? These thoughts made everyone worried and anxious, hoping for the best but fearing the worst. Despite their best efforts, the mystery of Dennis's disappearance remained unsolved. The woods stayed quiet, refusing to give up their secret. The search continued, but no matter how hard they looked, Dennis stayed hidden, leaving everyone puzzled and concerned about what might have happened to the bright-eyed boy who loved playing in the mountains. The search for Dennis became huge. Lots of people, even the National Guard and Green Beret, looked everywhere for him. They checked the woods, the hills, and the streams.
but they couldn't find any clues about where Dennis might be. The weather made things hard. On the first day, it rained a lot, making it tough to search. The next day, there was heavy mist, which made it even harder to see. Around 1,400 people were helping to find Dennis, but having so many people looking might have made it tricky. It could have covered up any clues they might have found. They found some footprints, small like a child's in the area, but the park officials thought they belonged to a Boy Scout who was helping in the search, not Dennis. The footprints went toward a stream and then disappeared. The footprints seemed like they belonged to someone with one bare foot and the other wearing a shoe like the one Dennis had on. A retired park ranger, Dwight McCarter, believed these prints might have been Dennis. He thought this because the tracks didn't look like a group and none of the Boy Scouts were walking around without their shoes. By June 22nd, they had looked over 56 square miles, but they couldn't find Dennis. Over a thousand people were still searching until June 26, when they slowed down the search. Finally, on June 29, they stopped looking. They closed the search officially on September 14, 1969. This search was the biggest one ever done in the Great Smoky Mountains National Park, but sadly, they never found out what happened to Dennis. Dennis's father announced a $5,000 reward for anyone assisting in locating Dennis. Despite attempts by individuals claiming special abilities, such as psychics, to provide clues, none of their efforts proved fruitful. Years later, a person hunting for ginseng found the bones of a small child in a place called Big Hollow in Treatment. This individual refrained from disclosing their actions until 1985 due to a fear of facing consequences for engaging in the unauthorized search for ginseng. When people went to look for more clues in that area, they didn't find anything else. Unable to locate Dennis, the National Park Service reevaluated their search procedures for missing individuals. They subsequently revised their protocols in an effort to enhance their capabilities should similar incidents occur in the future. The unresolved disappearance of Dennis Martin remains a poignant reminder of the fragility of human existence and the mysteries that nature sometimes holds. It has served as a cautionary tale, prompting renewed efforts in search and rescue procedures, technological advancements in tracking systems, and enhanced safety measures for families exploring wilderness areas. Though the fate of Dennis Martin remains unknown, his story endures as evidence of the resilience of families who have faced similar tragedies. The quest for answers continues, perpetuating the hope that one day, the truth about what happened to Dennis will emerge, bringing closure to a haunting mystery that has endured for over half a century. Even today, in 2024, the mystery of Dennis Martin's disappearance remains unsolved. Despite the extensive search efforts covering vast areas, the mystery of Dennis's whereabouts remained elusive and undisclosed, leaving everyone puzzled and wondering about what might have happened to the young adventurous boy in the Smoky Mountains. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to click the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. Until next time, stay cautious and remain vigilant.